You're probably doing some research on living in Panama and you're probably wondering what kinds of foods you'll have access to. You may be wondering what brands you'll find and which ones you won't. Hello friends! You are watching Panama Relocation Tours TV. In today's video, we're going to do something a little different. Many of you have asked about grocery shopping in Panama. So in today's video, we're going to take you shopping around Boquete and David. Boquete is a popular expat destination in Panama, and that means that you can find almost everything you need in this charming town. However, Boquete is still a growing small town, so some things like appliances, utensils, unique foods and spices may be harder to find. For that reason, we're also going to take you to the neighboring city of David. David is the second largest city in Panama and has a march larger variety of spices, named brands, unique foods, and household items. So let's start our shopping trip in Boquete. If you're looking for a bargain and want to help your local economy in the most direct way, you should buy your fruits and vegetables at these local fruit and vegetable stands. Most of these are run by the farmers themselves or by their family members and because they don't have to pay for a lot of overhead, they give you some of the best prices you'll ever see for fruits and vegetables, like this extra large pineapple that was just one dollar. Located in the new Los Sendero shopping mall in Boquete, across the street from the dollar store is Organica. This grocery store is as if the Whole Foods and Sprouts had a baby and made a micro store out of it. And that's because this mall store packs a lot of well-known brand names and unique health foods like chia seeds, flax seeds, vegan or fake meats, herbal teas, unique spices, and specialty bulk items. If you follow special diets like a gluten-free, vegan, vegetarian, soy-free, or any other type of diet, Organica will probably be a place you'll find yourself shopping a lot in. Because a lot of the brands they carry on the shelves are imported, you'll also pay the price of having an imported item. Let's do a side-by-side -side comparison to give you an idea. Romero used to be the biggest store in Boquete before Super Baru had its grand opening in 2017. And in comparison to Super Baru, prices tend to be cheaper on domestic items at Romero. Romero also has a nice selection of imported packaged goods like salad dressings, condiments, baking flours, and things like that. If you're driving, finding parking at Romero can be very difficult, but for the most part, Romero has almost everything you'd need and tends to be a little bit cheaper than Super Baru. In Panama, when you see the letters MS next to a store name, it stands for Mini Super, which translates to Small Grocery Store. These types of stores are a bit better stocked than most convenience stores in North America. And depending on where you live, you might actually have a mini super closer to you than a full-on grocery store. Also, they are fully and independently operated, unlike most of the chain stores. However, they serve the same purpose as most convenience stores. You can get essential items like milk, bread, detergent, medications, some pet food, and some limited produce, usually at a higher cost than most grocery stores. Some of these stores might even carry things like bulbs, screws, and other household items. Pricemart is the equivalent of Costco or Sam's in the US, the kind of grocery store that sells items at wholesale prices and in wholesale quantities. Their membership starts at about $38 and gives you full shopping access to wholesale discounts at the store. And just like Costco or Sam's, they carry their own brand of foods and household items, which are generally cheaper than a similar item in a brand name. At Price Mart, you'll be able to find everything from great meat, cheeses, snacks, cosmetics, imported packaged foods, electronics, household items, clothing. So. You'll find almost everything at um, Price Mart. However, imported brands at Price Mart will most likely be more expensive than the local alternative. But if you really love a certain brand of food and they carry it at Price Mart, you'll most likely find it on their shelves year round. Ray Supermarket is the most popular grocery store in David. They have a few locations, but the one right off the Pan American Highway is the largest one. 
Ray is popular among expats and locals, and that's because walking into Supermercado Ray in David is very similar to a big box grocery store in the U.S. or Canada. Ray has a well-stocked selection of all the essentials, as well as gourmet foods and specialty items like imported cheeses, imported beers, and liquors, and a lot of imported brands. The meat and fish selection at Ray seems fresh, clean, and there is a lot to choose from. And finally, our last grocery store on the list is Super 99 in David. Super 99 is a chain of grocery stores all over Panama, so chances are there will be one close to you no matter where you choose to live in Panama. And a really great thing about Super 99 in David is that they seem to have the best prices overall. You can usually find bargains on produce and some imported brands. Super 99 might not, might not have the largest selection of imported brands, but they have a large selection of Latin American brands, so you can find a really good substitute at a much lower price. And we recommend a really great tip to make your grocery shopping a lot easier in Panama. Go ahead and make your grocery list in English and write down the Spanish equivalent of this food. So if you're going to buy onions, you should write down cebolla. If you're going to buy cheese, write down queso. And if you're looking for wine, then you should write down vino. It's a simple exercise that will teach you a little Spanish with everyday things. And it will also help you out in case you can't find something you can point to your list. Even though these are some of the most popular grocery stores among expats in Boquete and David, we really encourage you to explore all the grocery stores and all the other stores in Boquete and David because you might find things that aren't mentioned here that are very important to you. Make notes of which stores carry your items or things that you especially like and familiarize yourself with these things in your community. Also, it's always a good idea to stock up on extras of your favorite foods when they are in stock. Panama's grocery stores tend to run out of something and not restock it again for a few weeks, or in some cases, they never restock it again ever again. Uh, so if you find that special pure vanilla, then go ahead and buy a few extras.